Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Now we're in the final dungeon, Ganon's Tower, and we have a key here, which we should not use on that door, because both of these rooms are accessible from the upper floor. So do not waste your key. I mean, you can if you want to try and get every key in the dungeon, though. Speaking of keys, there's another one in that skull there. They just hide them everywhere, basically. Uh, but anyway, we need to also hit all of these. Get rid of you, maybe. Please. Okay, push that block out of the way. I don't think there's anything else. So let's go through here. Okay, hookshot, it's your time to shine. And hopefully not fling me into a pit again. Okay, I want the good stuff. Give me, give me the good stuff. Also, there's so many things in this room that just shoot at you. If you use your sword. Ow. This is why we have a shield, though. Okay, bombs. A red rupee. There are so many treasure chests in, in this dungeon, it's crazy. Another red rupee, ten arrows. How you would ever need any of this stuff, I don't know. Okay, let's make our way down this way. Just like that. And then down. We've also got the red armor, and or the red mail, and also the big key. Which are the only things that we really need before we go to the end of the game. Ah, uh, but I want everything if I can. What did that change? That didn't change anything. It's fine. Ah, uh, let me hit you that. Go down here. I need to hit those, so I'm just gonna probably just throw a bomb across instead of trying to time my thing. Oh my goodness, I can't do that, apparently. Cool, I'll just tie my thing then. Bomb there. Okay. Everything's fine now. Also, there are two switches in here, which would make things a little bit more complicated. What's another key? So let me put that just right there. So it only hits one. Now we can go over here. Hit that, I guess. And now, let's go into the teleporter. A lot of flame bars just roaming around. And I also want to push this, so that spawns in the chest there. Which is another small key for us. Allows us to get, get further forward. And now for a teleporter maze, because what else would we need at this point in the game? Other than a teleporter maze, of course. Also, I see that crack in the wall, I want to check that. Oh my goodness, so many switches. That one activates this wall, which has some more treasure chests for us. Some bombs. It still explains to us every time we open a, a chest what the item does. More bombs, ten arrows, ten arrows. All of the things. I don't think any more of these switches activate, probably. Yeah, that's that's everything. Also, that's all of the rooms in the lower part of the dungeon. Apparently. So all I need to do now is really just leave. Although I'm still probably going to get through this teleport maze. Okay. I don't think this one's the right one. Maybe it is. Hang on, where does this go? Oh, it just takes us here to look at everything. Okay. Also, the one below me isn't the right one, so I need the one on the other side of this area. So let's do that. Also, we could also use that key that I never- I said I wasn't going to use. Because it'd be a waste, but... I don't know. Too used to randomizers. And having- running out of keys. And this is this room over here again. That we got trapped in before. Okay. Through here, and this is actually... The room where we got- uh, went to the area that took us to another area that took us to the big key that took us to the um, To the big chest which we can actually just get to by going up this way I don't even think there's anything else in this place for us to get Also, I believe the path over here actually is supposed to start over here But I took the shortcut which is a little bit risky, but anyway up here is the big chest So that's everything down here 
Nice. I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Open that, just because. Completion. You have to use every key and every lock. And now we can go upstairs. Okay. Got some monsters and some platforms and all that. Over the spikes. Ah! Oh, I can't hit you with my sword. I forgot about that. Well, luckily for me, I can also just hit you with my silver arrow, which is very good. Very strong. Now, I feel like there's also a secret treasure chest if I hit one of these, or push one of these blocks. Oh no, that just opens the door. I'm just crazy. Never mind. I'm just getting confused at what stuff does what. Oh, also I need to... get these guys up here if I can. Ow. Because whenever you're holding this, you move slowly, which may, means you can move them around a lot more efficiently. Uh, but also you need to be able to take them out still, so... I'm just going to check these. I don't think there's any extra treasure in here. Uh, but I have to check. Okay, no treasure. More of these guys, though. More Beemos. Let me see if I can get them... ...mostly together. Maybe. How did I miss? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, they're pretty much together now. They basically have to be, though. There we go. I'm <laughs> not even going to try pushing those blocks. We don't need anything else, we just need to get out of here. We need the big key before going to this point, so... Okay. Let's go through. More of these guys, which are the eye guys from the first dungeon of the game. Well, uh, but by that, the sec it's kind of the second palace, the second dungeon. The Eastern Palace is kind of the second dungeon because the, the Hyrule Castle is basically its own dungeon, in a way. Can I please take you out, please? I want to, I want to, I want to get rid of you. There we go. Ow. Ah, almost got hit by the things. Okay. That's everything in here. Let's move on. Dodging all the projectiles in this room, please. Please, no. Ha, ha, he. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Oh, my goodness. Also, can I not do that? I need to stop trying to dash off the edge. Because that's not going to help. What I need to do is aim that way and then turn. There we go. We can bounce across like that. We, I, I tried to show that in the Misery Mire or whatever it's called, where the desert is in the Dark World. It allows us to jump over some gaps and also gives us these fairies right here, which is quite helpful. So, also I'm going to switch to the hammer just to make it a little bit faster to get rid of these. Also some magic. So that's actually well worth getting right now. Okay, monsters time. How are you so strong? How are you not dying? I've got the fully upgraded Master Sword and the red guy was still not dying. Ah, uh, okay. Beemos on a... conveyor belt. That's just such a great usage of the game's assets. So, it's, just, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, we need to take out all the enemies some more. To progress. We also can block the Beemos beams, beams with our shield, so. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. I'm being very reckless right now. It's fine. Please, let me hit you. Oh my goodness. Okay, go. How is there so much stuff here? Please. Oh my goodness. There's so much just stuff just throwing it themselves at you. Okay. Ow. That hurt. That was probably not worth getting those items just then, but anyway. 
So this allows us to have another chance at a fairy. Or I could just do it wrong. Okay, and in here is a repeat boss again. With Moldorm. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but anyway. Please let me hit you. We have the fully upgraded Master Sword, so this should go, go, by, go, 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 go by very quickly. There's also that fire thing in the middle, or the edge though, so we need to be careful of that. Ow, stop shooting me! There we go. That's a go. And this looks like the end, probably. Maybe. No, surely there's something more? Maybe not. Maybe this is just the end. Oh no, there is one more thing that we need to do as well. Let's get through a few more rooms. Uh, let's use Ether. Ow. Also, they turn only to can turn when they after they disappear and reappear, which is interesting. Okay, down here. Good, 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 good. Just need to get past these guards. And there is another boss in here somewhere. Ow. Bombo, save me from everything that I've done to myself. Okay, that didn't work. Cool. Just what I wanted. Okay. Just two more. Also, did the, the did the beam get affected by the conveyor belt? <laughs> I have a question right now, and it's very important that I get the answer to it. Also, there's conveyor belts on the sides to make this go by faster, but ma that's mainly because uh, the panels on the ground also disappear. Okay, this room is going to be difficult. How is this still going? There's so much to this dungeon. Okay. Okay, everything is in position. Let's just burn that, burn that, burn that. Nope, I fell off. <laughs> That's not good. Now I'm gonna just wait for them to reset before continuing. Just because I'm not gonna have enough time otherwise. Okay, there we go. Hit that one, hit that one, hit that one, hit that one. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. There's also some skulls there, but probably have magic in them. It's fine. Oh, this place. I forgot this place existed, and now I'm sad that it exists. Okay, let's go up. Okay, we need to hit... No, that's not good. That's not good at all. We have to hit all four of these torches to be able to get through. So, it's going to take me a second to get these. And the floor panels fall away, which makes this extra difficult. There and there. Cool. Good. I'm glad that didn't take very long because I've, I've struggled that with that several times before. More bombs. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, he drops a key. Well, that's good. Also, some more bombs. I don't know why they're giving me so many bombs. I should be using bombs more as a weapon than anything else. I probably, I probably don't use them enough. Also, we need to hit that hole in the wall. That's not the way I want to do that. There we go. Dodge all the spike trap stuff. Okay, fairies. Probably just got one from that though. Okay, small key. Good, it means we can get out of here now. Also, I'm stuck. It's fine. Let's go. Okay. I can't remember what this thing is actually called. But we're gonna take it out now. Hopefully. Ah. Okay, that was fast. Cool. Also, why is there a path up there that... There's actually a thing up there. What's up there? Oh my goodness. Is there a path connecting? No, that's a stairs. Where does that lead from? Where's that? Where's the? Oh, hang on. I see. I see. I see. If you fall down, that's that's the way to get back up. That's where you get back up from. 
Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. I was concerned for a second there by the fact that there was a, a place up there that I've never been to before. But no, that's just the way out of here. Also, I, I want this, I want this. Give it to me, thank you. Okay. Makes a lot more sense now. Also, this thing respawned, but that's fine. It's just an enemy to me now. Not even a regular boss. Oh, it's trying to make itself known to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Also, I think I don't even... No, I do have to fight it again. I've messed up. I tried by falling back into the pit after the boss. Also, did I just have a spin attack without the actual spin attack? I think I did. Anyway, after the boss is defeated, it actually spawns in a chest over here. I'm assuming if you open up the chest before falling down, you can probably have it not get in the way and respawn the boss again. Uh, but anyway, let's go through here. We should be getting very close to the end now. How's there still more? <laughs> I forgot how huge this place was, but it's a good it's a good thing that I uh, I split this area up into two parts, I guess. Ah! Please. No, 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 no. Why are they doing this to me? Ah, get in the door. Okay, we're good. Floor seven. I think this is the final floor. It is. At the very end. Let's take out... This, this guy again. I can him. I... <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce his name properly. Ho ho ho, it's great that you could come all the way here, Link. I'm very happy to see you again, but you'd better believe that we won't... We will not have uh, have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom. He also spawns in two Shadow Clones to fight for him. Luckily, they also provide more extra shots that you can actually hit back at him, though. But they also... They also just get in the way a little bit. Oh my goodness, please. Nice. That was a good setup there. This is going quite well. The combos right now. Nice. He's done already. But there's the spirit that was possessing, possessing him, leaving him. The spirit of Ganon. And for the first time, we actually used the flute to teleport around in the Dark World. The only time. But here we go. Back at the Pyramid. Probably is worth saving now. Oh, it's save and quit. Uh, let's do that then. And let's go back in. Okay, so now we're at the end. We could also do a little bit of extra preparation, which I probably can actually go get a fairy right now. Just because it's not that far away. Because I believe we always get a fairy every time we dash into this tree here. I should be careful not to lose extra life though. Instead of gaining my life back. And then let's head back up and go in. Take the extra rupee, I guess, even though I don't need it. It's just a bad habit that I have. Anyway, let's go in. I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Aganim, the Dark Wizard, twice. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. So here we go. Need to hit him when he's visible, not teleporting. We also need to avoid being hit by his trident, which can be a little bit difficult because it goes all, all over the place. Oh, and we need to be careful when he does this because he's spawning in fire and spinning it around, which eventually turns into fire bats to shoot at us. But anyway, let's try to hit him a few more times. Oh dear, that's not where I want to stand right now. Ooh, I think I might actually use the cane of whatever it's called, just to live a little bit 
This is slowing down the game immensely, though. But it's not using a ton of magic, which is good, because we will need magic. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Every time he jumps on the ground, he's breaking part of the edge off the... Every time he... <laughs> he's breaking off parts of the arena. If you fall off the edge, you fall out of the arena, and you have to restart the fight. You also have to go heal, so... Ah, uh, but anyway. When Ganon is stunned, give him the last moment with a silver... His last arrow with a... His last moment with a silver arrow. Do you understand, Link? I do. We need to have silver arrows for the... To win the fight. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's try this again. If we throw an empty bottle into the fairy fountain, it gives us a magic bottle. Which is good for us because it means we can actually get some magic back if we need to. Just means I have to go catch another fairy. Okay, let's try this again. Doing as much damage as possible without getting knocked off the edge when he goes into arena destroy mode, I guess. I don't know. Also, there might just be a phase at this point where he just doesn't do anything. Or it doesn't do damage to him, I, but maybe it does, I don't know. Probably using up too much magic doing this, but that's okay. Actually, no, it's not okay. Let me stop that. I'm using- I used up way too much magic on that. That's okay. You are doing well, lad. But can you break through this secret technique of darkness? On guard. We need to have probably the lamp ready. If I had more magic, I would use the fire rod, though. We need to light up these torches. You can only hit him when he's visible. So. And whenever he looks like that, it means we have to shoot him with a... Uh, uh, what's it called? A silver arrow. It's the only way we can hit him. Oh, that's a shame. I'm using the lamp so I can have more hits. Just because I don't really have that much magic left. Okay, that's two hits. I don't think I have time to get him again. No, I don't. You can also kind of see where he teleports to. Kind of. Please, 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 please. Let me hit you. Silver arrow. Good. If I can hit you, just- nope. Too late. I also don't think his fire can light up the torches for you, which is unfortunate. Or unfortunate. <laughs> no, that was terrible. Let me, let me- let me take that back. But there we go, we got rid of him. Welcome, Link. I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wish com wishes come true. If an evil heart hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ganon was building up his power here, so he could conquer the light world and make his wish come completely true. But now, you have totally destroyed Ganon. His dark world will vanish. 
The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now touch it with a wish in your heart. So there we go. The return of the king at Hyrule Castle. All the maidens are there, and also the soldiers are back to normal, I guess. The Loyal Sage. Guess the power of the Triforce is a quite a helpful thing. Sahasrala's Homecoming. Vultures rule the desert. As always. And there's the Master Lockpick. The bully makes a friend at the Mountain Tower. Your uncle recovers. Zora, oh, Philippa's for sale at Zora's Waterfall. Only 500 rupees. The Witch and Assistant. At the Magic Shop. The Assistant looks like they've seen something. Twin Lumberjacks. Starting on the next tree. There's not going to be any Lost Woods in the future. Flute Boy plays again. Venus, Queen of Fairies. At the Wishing Well. The Dwarven Swordsmiths. The Bug Catching Kid. Guess he got better. The Lost Old Man has quite a view from Death Mountain. The Forest Thief. And the Master Sword. Sleeps again. Forever. That's what you think. <laughs> it's just gonna come back in every game until the end of time. But there we go. This game has always been something special to me. Even when I couldn't play it and I, all I had to really with the game, all I had with the game was basically the booklet instructions on how to play it and the copy of the game. That's all I had as a child, but and then I got I actually was able to play it and it's been it's been great ever since. This game holds up really well. It's still got some a few things that, uh, I mean, every game has something slightly wrong with it, so. But this is a still really good. The design of the world is actually surprisingly 
advanced for what it is. Oop. Apparently if I don't press any buttons, darkness will take over Hyrule again. Who knew that the main villain in Legend of Zelda was the sleep mode on the SNES Mini. Also, I love the song that plays when you in the Triforce room. It's so good. And having the wish at the end to restore the world makes a lot more sense when you think about all the characters that died. I guess. It depends on how you look at it, but like, if you think about it, for a portion of the game, you're going around taking out the guards, just the soldiers of the land. But you know, with the wish, they're back, I guess. I think this game paved the way for the future of the Zelda games more than the previous two games did. The first one set it up pretty well. I, d I don't know much about Zelda 2. Played a bit. But this, this one really takes it up to an another level. Which of course takes it up another level again and the future as well. Anyway, quest history. I'm pretty sure this is showing how many times I game over it in areas, which I don't think I did, which is actually the most I've not died in this game, I think, probably. Level 2 is Swamp Palace. Okay, I need to keep that in mind. I never remember the names of everything, because Misery Mire and the Swamp Palace, I, I get those mixed around, basically. Actually, that's probably the only ones that I mess up. Total games played? One. Because I guess Ganon's Tower counts as a game over because the game is over once you, you win the game. But I guess? I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm pretty sure I didn't game over though. And that's the end. So now that we've finished the game, let's go back into a new profile. And I want to do something very specific right now. Just but just as an extra thing at the end of the game. This is something that I like to do when I've, whenever I want to feel satisfied. Just for some reason, I don't know. Uh, I think the main reason was... The last time I did it was because I, I was playing something. And I think the game crashed or something and I had to reset. Which was quite unfortunate, but anyway. I guess we'll take the lamp. That's going to help a lot in the future of the rest of the game, probably. Once or twice. Uh, but anyway. Also try to make sure I use some of the items that are less important more often. I guess I don't use the cape as much though. Uh, but anyway. Let's head on up this way. As we should. Man, it's so strange going back into the game again now that I've just finished it. Like, super strange. But also, it feels good, in a way. Like I'm having a, 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 fresh, a very fresh start, I guess. I don't know what it is. Also, so does my what? Do I need to go over to the right? We just need to go down this, this way. It's a little bit... Uh, the, the strange thing about going back to the beginning of the game, though, now that we've finished it, is just how defenseless we are. We're, we're a lot more likely to just get killed at the very beginning of the game than the rest of the game. As long as we're getting all the heart containers, we're good, so. Also, I want to have the running... I want the Pegasus boots already. 
It's so sad. I mean, I'm not going to play the whole game again right now. But at the same time, I might as well. <laughs> I just started the profile. I have to have the profile. I deleted the old one, so... <sighs> why, did, why did I think this through? I don't know. Please don't kill me now. Just gonna grab the key, gonna ignore the map. Bro, I don't even need to worry about the enemies. Goodbye. So long. They don't even chase you even if you get too far away from them, so... Also, something I probably should talk about is the, the way you save in this game is interesting, because you can't save without quitting, so you have to always quit whenever you save your game. Uh, but whenever you re-enter the game, you can only start the game from certain positions. Usually the last entrance you came like the, the dungeon entrance, if you're inside of a dungeon. Uh, but if you are out in the world, you have to go back to either Link's house or the sanctuary, at the very beginning of the game at least. Uh, but then, um, once you talk to the old man on the mountain, you're allowed to re-enter the game from the old man on the mountain, so. Anyway, we have Zelda now. I could have just grabbed the rupee and left her there, but, you know. Have to get up to 999 rupees again at some point, so. So. There's a lot of stairs here to go up and down. Oh my goodness. I guess that makes sense, though. Except then we go up the stairs there as well. I just wish it, well, it like went deeper into a dungeon or something. I guess it kind of feels deeper by just walking. Uh, but anyway, I think I need to jump off this ledge here. Pause midair. No, not that one. How did that happen? Uh, while we're in midair, I want to save and quit. Which may seem strange, but also I, I promise this makes sense. Uh, we re-enter from where we're last in the game. Uh, but because the game has no idea what's happening right now, we're inside of the wall because we got hit by the guy. Because the invincibility frames work weirdly when we get hit by that guy with Zelda. And now that we're in the wall and we- Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm up in the top part of the castle now. But also, the- 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 the pallet was all wrong. Also, I did it slightly wrong. That's fine. I should have paused mid-air because now I have to do the trick again. Those aren't supposed to be there. Also, I think that the floor tile is wrong there. That's fine. Anyway, let's try this again. So we walk out here after saving the game like that. We get hit by this guy and we go into the wall. Uh, we walk across here. And basically, we, by going out of bounds, we can walk between the areas because of the way that they're set up. All of them are set up in like a grid of space, I guess. And whenever you go through a door, it loads that area by, like, teleporting you to that block of the world. It usually changes the, the palette of the area, like, at images and all that, and assets. Uh, but it, it really has no idea what to do if we change areas abruptly. But anyway, if we just keep going up here, we've made it to the Tower of Hera, the third dungeon, or fourth dungeon if you count Hyrule Castle, which I do. And then we just keep going up through the drains, <laughs> I guess. And eventually, eventually, wow, this is taking a bit of time. I don't know the exact path through here, and I might have already done it wrong, which would be bad. Oh, I've made, I've come to an empty space. Let me go left. Yes. And now we're in the final boss. Except that I'm also in the wall and just going to walk right past him into the twi uh, Triforce room. So that's something that's very fun to do if you just want to feel satisfied at beating the game in like five minutes. But anyway, welcome lol. <laughs> I am the essence of the Triforce. Oh, you just got me. That's why I put dots there, because you got me. Anyway, that is the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time.